May I now invite the Honorable President of India to address the gathering. Honorable Sri Sushil Kumar Sindhi, Union Home Minister, Sri Ajay Makhen, Minister of Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation, Jitendra Singh, Minister of Sports, Independent Church for Youth Affairs, and Minister of State for Defence, Sri Gurudas Kamath, Member of Parliament, Sri R. K. Singh, Home Secretary, Sri C. Chandramouli, Registrar General of Census Commissioner, Distinguished Guests, Awardees, Ladies and Gentlemen. It's indeed a privilege for me to be present at this function where the census medals and certificates of honor to the census functionaries for their extraordinary and meritorious services is being held. It was due to the arduous efforts of those associated with the task of conducting census 2011 that yet another glorious chapter has been added to the annals of history of this institution. India has a long and rich tradition of conducting census, taking the earliest references of census taking in the country are found in Kautilla's Art Shastra, that is between 321 to 296 before the birth of Christ, and later in the writings of Abul Fajal, I need Akbari during the days of Emperor Akbar. However, the first systematic and modern population census in its present scientific form was conducted non synchronously between 1865 and 1872 in the country. The first synchronous census in India was conducted in the year 1881. The census 2011 was the 15th census in this series as recount from 1872 and the 7th since independence. The successful conduct of census without any break since 1872 makes the Indian census unique and unparalleled in the world. Why I am saying it is unparalleled in the world? Because during the every census in 10 years, population figure increases, varieties of the data are to be collected are multiplied and it becomes extremely difficult for those who are managing census, particularly the census commissioner and register general of India. I take this opportunity of congratulating the wonderful performance which Dr. Chandra Modi and his organization under the supervision <laughs> of Union Home Secretary and Union Home Minister, they have done. They have done wonderful job. Census taking in India is a very challenging task in view of the multi-ethnic, multilingual, multicultural society. The complexity of the exercise can be visualized from the fact that census schedules were canvassed in 16 languages and training given in 18 languages. About 4.5 million instruction manuals and 340 million census schedules were printed. 2.7 million enumerators and supervisors were engaged in the task of census, taking across 35 states six and union territories, 640 districts, 5,924 sub-districts, sub 7,936 towns and 6.41 lakh villages. The unique feature of Census 2011 is that schedules for preparation of the national population registers 
were also canvassed along with the <coughs> house listing schedule. I congratulate all my countrymen and having cooperated in census taking, without which, without their active and wholehearted cooperation, it would not have been possible to complete this gigantic exercise in a short duration of 21 days. I also congratulate the entire census teams once more for having completed the field work successfully within the stipulated time period and declared the provisional results in a record time of three weeks and after completion of the field work. India is emerging as a strong, self-reliant and modern nation. The basic benchmark statistics on the state of human resources, demography, culture, economic structure thrown by census 2011 would not only help the planners, policymakers, and other stakeholders in evaluating the success of ongoing scheme, but would also assist in formulating future development plans. Census data are also widely used by national and international agencies, scholars, business persons, institutions, and particularly the researchers. Informed decision making has to be based on empirical data, and census is the only source of authentic data that provides information on various individual characteristics right up to village level of the rural areas and ward level for urban areas. I hope with the latest technology developed by the census organization for data dissemination, census results would be accessible quickly to all the stakeholders in the remotest corner of the country. I am given to understand that it is tradition to recognize the outstanding work done by the census functionaries after every decennial census. Census functionaries toil in the most difficult terrain and adverse conditions to make this mammoth exercise a grand success. It gives me great pleasure to award the census medals and certificates of honor to census functionaries in recognition of their outstanding zeal, high quality of work, devotion to duty. I congratulate once again all the census medal winners and wish them well for their future endeavors. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.